Good morning everyone. Today I'll be presenting on the topic Spearman rank correlation which is included in non-parametric test. So the first slide is what is correlation? Correlation tells about the association between variables such that how one variable would be affected in accordance with the other one. The different types include positive correlation, negative correlation and zero correlation. So if the two variables are increasing or decreasing in parallel then they have a positive correlation between them and if one, one of the variable is increasing and another one is decreasing then they have a negative correlation within each other and lastly if the change of one variable has no effect on the another variable then they have a zero correlation between them. Spearman rank correlation so Spearman rank correlation is a non-parametric test that is used to measure the degree of association between the two variables but provided there must be a ordinal scale such that rank could be assigned to these values and in case of ties between either of the values we can assign them with a average rank. So while comparing Pearson's and Spearman correlation rank test we see that both these tests are used to measure the correlation but difference arises what kind of analysis we want. Like Pearson is a parametric test which evaluates linear relationship while Spearman evaluates monotonic relationships based and which is based on the ranked values. When shall we use the Spearman's rank order correlation? The Spearman's correlation coefficient is represented by the symbol rho. It measures the strength and direction of association between two rank variables. This correlation is assesses monotonic relationships whether linear or not. It ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. This test does not carry any assumptions and the data should at least be ordinal. Monotonic relationships a monotonic relationship is a relationship that does one of the following. First is, as the value of one variable increases, so does the value of the other variable. That means both the values increases. And the other one states that as the value of one variable increases, the other variable value decreases, which can be seen in the graph given below. Ranking the data in Spearman correlation test is an important step. So how do we rank the data? Given below is a table which states the marks obtained by a student in English and Mathematics. So how do we rank it? We would rank the value 1 or we would label the score or highest value as 1 and the lowest score shall be labeled as 10. Or if, you, if your data has more than 10 sets, then you can have the lowest score as per your data. So in this table, we can see that ranking has been done individually for the marks obtained in English and Maths respectively. The highest rank that is 1 is given to the highest scorer that is 80 in case of English and 77 in case of Mathematics. Then second for the second highest and so on. Here we see that the joint rank of marks is 6.5. This is because when we have two identical values in the data which we call tie, we need to take the average of the ranks that would otherwise be occupied. Here in this table, we do not see any rank as 6 or 7. But we took the average of 6, point, 6 and 7 that is 6.5 and assigned to each of these tied scores. The formula used here is rho equals 1 minus 6 multiplied by summation of di square upon n, n square minus 1. That means in denominator we will be eventually having n cube minus n where the row represents the Spearman rank correlation. DI represents the difference between the rank of corresponding variables and N represents the number of observations. In this example, he took 10 stores and their respective distances and the pricing of an item. Here the two variables are distance and price. 
Next, he assigned ranks based on the decreasing order of each of the variable like rank 1 for the highest value that is 950 in case of distance and 2 in case of price up to 10th rank for the lowest value. Next we need to take the differences of both the ranks like in first case there is 10 minus 2 equals 8 and then squaring each of the differences value as per the formula we need to take summation of d square and then put them in the formula where summation of d square is comes out to be 290 and n equals 10 in this case as he took 10 stores. So then we just calculate it and we get the value within the range of minus 1 to plus 1. Application of this correlation. We use this Pearman rank correlation whenever we have two rank variables and we want to see whether the two variables co-vary such that one variable increases and the other variable tend to increase or decrease with it. 